Five cities, eight contestants, 13 days, $40,000, and a beach house on the line. This is Barstool vs. America Season 2, presented by High Noon. Welcome back to Barstool vs. America. This season, we have new contestants, new cities, and a few twists and turns our Barstool employees will never see coming. All right, let's meet our contestants for season two of Barstool vs. America. The first two people we're gonna bring out, you recognize from last season, they're back. They were losers last season. It's Dana and Marty. What's up, guys? What's up, Jeff? Why'd you guys both go so far away? You guys didn't, like, stand together. You can go to your team. No, you know what, no, you know what, Dana? No, 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 no. Go to your team. You are on the blue team, and Marty, you're on the yellow team. Oh, so you shocker. did, you, you, you did nail that. Oh, yes. What a shocker. All right, the next two people we're going to meet. One is returning. One is new. One was a winner. Pat and Joey. Let's bring them on out. Joey, you're going to be over here on the yellow team. With Marty, so pop on over oh, here. You goodness. have. I mean, this is this is incredible. This is this is gorgeous. All right, Pat. I do believe that I will say. I don't think you two are very much on the. good, You were on good terms, but not great terms. Look at water under the bridge, season. Jeff. Water under the bridge. I'd go. I'd go gay for 10k. <laughs> okay, that's my Jeff. saying this season. All right, our third team. Similar vibe to the last team. One new person, one winner. Let's bring out Alex Bennett and Kelly Keegs. <laughs> Woo! Jeff Oh, boy. Oh, and they did pick the right side. Kelly. Hi, Jeff. Welcome back. Thank you. We'll talk to you in a second. But yellow, do you like being on the yellow team? Sure. Am I on the yellow do team? Do you like these two partners of yours now? Yeah. Go right. stand on the other side of Joey. You're All yellow. Right. Welcome. Hi, a Jeff. A new cast member. Split up from your partner for five minutes already. You are now with Dana and Pat. So go to the other side. We'll talk to you in a second. I like it. Kelly. Is it still completely eye on the prize? You're like, you know what, maybe I'll have some fun this season. We'll mess I think I'm, I think I'm ready to have a little fun this season. Uh -oh. I think I'm ready to have a little fun, Jeff. All right, and last but not least, our final team. I have no idea how we convinced them to do this. Let's bring out Nick and KB. Oh, and you both also picked the right side. Ooh. Okay. All right. Nick, KB, hello. You're split up. Dude, are you sad to be split up? No. No. No, <laughs> not at all. I don't like No, nah, we're like adult men. As a friend, no. Do you, <laughs> yeah, like you can walk over to your team, but as you like, do you like this team you're up to? And you go stand on the other side of Kelly Keegs now yeah, with Joe, your- Joey's already annoying. <laughs> the ratio is terrible. Two girls to six guys. Ratio's great. All right, go, go stand on over there by Keegs. What about you? You can go stand on your spot. Do you like your team? I love my it's team a, to death. It's a tall team. Well, they were. <laughs> 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 These are now your teams. These are your two teams for Barstool versus America season two. Some returnees, some winners. I, I have one question though before we maybe say a few things and, and part ways. She, her. <laughs> <laughs> Will you be pissing yourself this year? Oh, you were gonna start with that off hey, the bat. I, don't want, I actually do not want you to do it now. But is that like, is it a new year, new Dana? Is it like a new gag? Nick, you alluded to maybe having a gag that would one up him. Yeah, I'm gonna poop my pants. <laughs> you're gonna, every challenge you're gonna shit yourself. Every single one. That's, you have to live up to that now. I'm trying. <laughs> no, no. There's a couple no, no, no. of this, this wasn't even, I didn't even want you to do that. He you're does kidding. that? Every time he fucking does this. He pisses himself? Every time he does this and it's gross. Every time it's gross. You'll know when I want you to piss yourself. Wait, look how high that stain starts. <laughs> that should be way lower, lower brother. brother. That should be starting I'm not, way I'm lower. I'm piss dog. All right, the blue team. Nick, Alex, Pat, Dana, the yellow team. Marty, Joey, Keegs, KB. I will remind you, if you didn't watch the show, I'll tell you for the first time, but if you were on it or if you watched it, the game has started. Everything you do, Everything you say, everything you say, quietly over text or out the window of an open bus, can be heard and will impact your ability to win, lose $40,000, a beach house. That's all up for grabs. The game has begun. Grab a pack of High Noon, get comfortable, get on your bus. Welcome to Florida. Thanks, Jeff. I know. Like, like, yeah, that was great. Absolutely. Oh, I have one. I have one. 
don't yeah. think so. Yeah. Open well, up, I'm, open it up, Nick. It's hot you, as fuck out here. What do you do? Oh, it's Ooh. automatic. Golly. These are nice. Ooh. Oh my god. Okay. I can't oh my see god, anything. the glamour. Okay. Welcome home. This feels spacious. Wait a second. Oh, here's the old bunkie. This is awesome. Ah, I remember it well. That's awesome. rule number one. Look at all the high noons. Wow. That's, that's good. Oh, yeah, that's wow. good. I'm most excited about Joey, because he was complaining about the air, which I liked. Is the, why is the air not on? Can we turn the air on? All right, now I'm going to start fucking with shit. Where's the air? There has to be a wall, a wall air. This is the only vent coming from the front driver's seat. All these vents aren't on. I swear to God, these vents are going soon. I'm not a diva. I just need a few things. I just need a couple things. I'm concerned mostly about Kyle because he's a little bit of a loose cannon. Um, he was kind of frazzled in the beginning. I don't know if he has like a problem with paying attention, but he's like he's never present. I don't think so. He's a little he's a little loopy. Kyle, Mar come in here. We'll hold Marty. Get in the middle. You guys, are so, you guys are sweaty. This is a lot. This is a lot. <laughs> KB, I mean, KB is just KB. He's just kind of, he's a lone wolf. He runs around. Nobody's really sure what his deal is. We'll have to figure it out as time goes on. I got this big ass lump on my lip, which is on the forefront of my mind every time I talk is it, to someone. Is it, is it, is it, um, it, is, it is just a cyst. It is not, not contagious. Bullshit. But it's not contagious. It's not contagious. It's, I don't know. I didn't, I didn't check. <laughs> it might be. Yeah, I don't know why people think KB and I have this emotional bond. He's a sociopath. Between the other seven competitors, I've only ever had a full conversation with Nick, I think. I worry about Kyle all the time. He, not about the competition, but he could just find himself in the middle of the fucking ocean or something. He's, he wanders and he doesn't have me to keep him in line now. Uh, this may very well be the last time we ever see Kyle Bauer. This is the nicest place I've ever lived. I mean, I despise this. Me and you were there. I, I figured that yeah. out being one. It's big. It is big that they put the ladder for KB. Yeah, that's, that's huge. Really nice. That's really nice. <laughs> How do you launch? We'll give the we'll give the lady the Get, the queen gets the, the queen bed. Gets the bed. I don't. But th but then where does that put Dana? Does this thing come down as a bed? So this wait, comes this down. comes down as a bed. Yeah, that could be Dana. Dana, you're Dana. You're the you're like the oh, biggest. You want take this one? I'm down for whatever. I immediately think there's some type of. Uh, twists, you know, like something's hiding. I did this in season one and I was completely wrong, but there's always something with this show. Are you looking for like, a, uh, like an idol or an immunity? There's got to be, there's I think there no, might be There's something. always a game happening. What are you looking for? I'm looking for anything I can find. I'm not, I don't care about none of this. I'm, I'm winning. Oops. Boys and girls. Open and private. Is it each of us? Yeah. Hey, Alex. I knew there was something. Open and private. Wasn't oh, I just saying that? New box. I was just saying that to the camera. There's some weird thing here. I was grabbing a high noon, uh, and it said, uh, congrats, me. Not my name, but uh, I have just won $1,000. What? Uh, I have a decision. Do I want to keep the money all for myself or split it with my team? If I keep the money, they won't reveal my name. And I told the producers that we're splitting. It's a real thing. Soul to the earth. Wow. Money's Nicky no object boy. to me. I buy my friends. All right, Nick. Wow, Nick what? already? With the, that is teamwork. Wow. Now I'm, gonna, now I'm gonna give you what you deserve. Quit <laughs> it. So Nick finds the envelope on the RV, which apparently was on my box of high noons, which I had no idea about. I did not feel an envelope for a single second. Either he could keep the thousand dollars for himself, or he could distribute it to his teammates. He went ahead and distributed it to his teammates. All I know is that um, I probably would have kept it for myself, <laughs> for being completely honest. Coming off of season one, you can't trust Pat, so it's a little bit of you take the good with the bad. I know he's a good competitor. I just don't trust him to be on my side at the end of the game. So it's a little bit weird to have him on the same bus, especially since he kind of screwed me over in the last season. The only person I'm not really excited about is Dana Beers. So as far as I'm concerned, the team is me, Nick, and Alex. Dana's gonna be Dana, but those two I feel like I can kind of marionette my way into, into some winnings with. I guarantee that team didn't do it. Oh God, are you kidding me? Marty's keeping that in a second. Kelly's keeping that in a second. Kyle is. 
Kyle is. Him. It says open in private. You saw me, I was looking in the drawers. I told you, I'm winning this game this year. Whoa. So Nick found the, the note on his team. He's splitting with everyone. Good guy Nick giving everyone the money. I found the note. I kept the money. I need to tell everyone right now, whoever finds it gets to keep it. No hard feelings. And now I'm just I'm leading a whole entire search team for the bus. Look under everywhere and just keep saying, man, I hope I find it. I really want that thousand. We just got to all look together. I got to put on an acting performance. It's a missing note. Unless it's not missing. We're all looking for it. I mean, but that's what I would do if I found it. Listen, I just like to search for things. It, it's getting split. I just want to be the one who found it. What did you hear the rule? What's the, the rule? Yeah. Whoever finds it keeps it. I'll split it. You split it? Yeah. But that's the rule right now. We all said, who wants 250? KB was a little suspicious. Kelly and Joey kind of bought it. So let's see how it goes tomorrow. Wait, that's actually nice. That it was is really nice. Well, you know, Frodo? No, you're good. That thing's not going anywhere. You're golden. I'm down. Look, if you guys want to switch at any point, just let me know. Yeah, same. Anybody take the master from me. Thank you. And Pat, you can be, be my roommate. <laughs> <laughs> you see that? It started tilting. No, it didn't. Yes, it did. Yeah, it did. It did. It really did. Oh, no. I thought you jumped off and hit your head. <laughs> Getting in and out. Night one was a nightmare. Um, Dana broke the bed on the bus. So Dana broke the bed on their bus uh, for reasons that you could probably figure out. He's fat. Imagine being too fat for a bed. The thing fat people are bound to. Too fat to lie. You kidding me? I mean, we're four idiots for taking the biggest guy and putting him on this bed above the driver's seat, suspended by just like straps. It's like two seat belts. And we just put Dana on it. I knew this wasn't gonna happen when the bed came You're down. You're blaming me? No, I'm not blaming you. I'm saying it was too good to be true. And now Dana thinks it's because of his weight. And I said that's not the case. Yeah. I, and I think it's too much. on problem. that. Look at that late night snack. That's just a pint of Ben and Jerry's. That's his daily allotted calories he had at 3 a.m. <laughs> That's called a sneaky pint. In the <laughs> That's called a SP. I'm not gonna sit here and accept that. You can't have the beer guy and can't have this. They are, they go together like P, B, and J. So all the people that are coming at me for my weight, yeah. Do you want me to just stop doing beer tweets? Do you want me to just stop being the beer guy for a little bit of a weight issue? Is that what you want, truly? But yes, it was probably my fault that the bed's broken. What are you, why are you panning up? Why are you panning up? I had a bad feeling about it. And this kind of just reassures me that I shouldn't have been on that bed. <laughs> are you gonna, what are we gonna do, weight jokes the whole time? You want some? No. As of right now, there's no solution to it. So we all rode the blue team, went over to the yellow team, and we all bunked up all cozy on the closed together bus. I'm glad it didn't happen to me. I'm glad it happened to Dana. I feel like we're going to like an abandoned warehouse or something. Yeah. I think it's indoor. Looks it's like Tampa it. Bay. Grand Prix. Oh God, race. Is that a race track? No. Oh, oh. oh yeah. Go karts are pretty sick. Yeah. Fuck yeah. If Jeff comes up out of the ground. <laughs> no, stop, no stop. You guessed it, never second, no. voice is not impressive, no. New level, new level. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> no.
Wow. Oh my God. What an entrance. Oh I was a little discombobulating. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to one of the three cities we've been Clearwater, Tampa, St. Pete, something like that. We have a fun one this morning. We're racing today. But off the top, we gotta, we gotta go over a few things. Something happened on the bus, Dana? You guys came over in one bus, I noticed. I'm getting attacked left and right for my weight problems and the fact that a bed is broken, when in, in reality, it's a maintenance issue. I heard, I heard there was a weight limit and the bus I driver may be did over say that weight. 250 and under. You don't gotta throw numbers around. <laughs> yeah, no one asked for the number. No, the bus driver did. <laughs> Uh, blue team, though, something <laughs> something was found on the bus yesterday. Anyone want to talk about that? Yeah, uh, I found a card uh, that said I could be quiet and keep a thousand dollars to myself, or share it with these guys. Um, they saw me reading it. <laughs> that, that, that really, really, that really complicates the decision. And I couldn't just be like, oh, it was nothing. It was so I gave. I, we split it. And you definitely would have given it no matter what, too. So. Well, yeah. Yeah, so good guy. team morale pretty high then. Big time. Yeah, dude, he's very high. So what is that, 250 buckaroos? I guess, if you divide 1,000 divided by four, yeah, I do believe so. Pretty impressive. And tax implications. Yellow team, did you find anything? When Jeff told us to grab the boxes of stuff, the boxes of the high noons, everyone said, grab a case. They said they found it under the case. I thought it was a prop. I said, why the fuck would I under bring high noons sitting on the tarmac for six hours in the Florida sun into my bunker with me? So I left it there. So there might have been a second note that I didn't even know about. Oh, so you think you might have missed something. Well, because maybe they got, you said everyone grab a case. So I thought that was, and then they no, found it on no the case. No one on yellow found anything. No. We, no. Said the we looked high and low. Oh, someone found something. Somebody yeah. did. Someone, someone found something, and I think I know. I did it. KB checked the entire Thing. Look at KB smiling. KB, yeah. KB, KB found something. He was acting squirrely all day. <laughs> I bet he was. He was, he was. We did say, though, at this point, if somebody finds it, we just keep just it for keep, themselves. Like, yeah. Absolute masterclass I put on. And I inceptioned all of their brains to be like, hey, it's okay if you find it. No hard feelings. Take the $1,000. <laughs> um, all right. Well, I guess circle back to that. Congratulations on your on your winnings. Thank you. Start the game. Uh, but now, individual challenge. First individual challenge. This is a big one. You know, if you've seen the show, and if you haven't, captainship is pretty big. That's what I'll say. The only way for you to really have power in this game is by winning this challenge. Each team, you are competing against each other today. Blue team, you'll go up first. You're gonna race around the track five times. First person to cross the finish line, simple as that, is the captain of your team, which will be big for the team challenge later on. Yellow, same thing, you'll go after them, race against each other, winner becomes the captain. I'll reiterate, the only way to have power in this game is by being the captain. So today, how confident are you? Is anyone a, a former go-kart racer? Has anyone raced go-karts before? I think you'd know that, Jeff. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna kill it, Jeff. I don't know why, but I'm gonna kill it. Tell me what you told me. What, what did I tell you? You're guaranteeing it. a win. Oh, You're guaranteeing a win already? I, I do recall a guarantee in Nashville over axe throwing last year. You did not win. Yeah, yeah. guarantee a win. Is there a weight okay. limit on these? <laughs> well, that's the, I don't want to bring up the weight again. We're going to go over the weight. All right. I don't want to bring up the weight again, but I know that in NASCAR, the heavier drivers tend to have a more difficult time. Why are we, go, why are we talking about the weight so much? Anyone over here confident? Joe, are you a... I love driving fast. You just said you forgot your contacts. I, I'm gonna have someone get them. <laughs> oh, you're, a little, uh, you're gonna fly a little blind today then. No, I have to get my contacts, otherwise um, I will crash and die. Okay, five laps again. Winner on each side is the captain. Big start to the game, big start to the season. All right, you're gonna randomly draw for positions on the track. Blue, you are up first. You can file out and get ready to go. Let's start racing. All right, blue team. Alex, Pat, front, in the back, Dana, Nick. I'm gonna count you down. First person to cross the finish line is the captain of the blue team for the team challenge. Are you guys ready? Yes. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Get ready to go in three, two, one, go. Early lead out of the gate for Pat. Alex behind her, Pat, pretty big lead in the first lap here. Into the wall goes Nick. Pat has a pretty wide margin. 
Oh, oh shit. Oh, a little bumper there in the back by Nick. Oh shit. Oh, oh god. Right, Nick. Give it back. At way ahead right now. If he comes in to start the second lap, huge lead for Pat. Massive Alex close behind. Nick and Dana way behind. Dana guaranteed the win. Come on, yeah. There was fighting between them two. Pat is in the clear here on lap number two. Again, Dana guaranteed to win. He is in last. Alex slow behind in second, not really close at all. Nick and Dana are almost completely out of this. Pat is blowing everybody away right now. Pat has this on lock on lap three. Dana and Nick are way out of this. Alex is still close behind. She might be the only one that can catch up. Alex is good at this. She's amazing. Coming around the final turn on this third lap. Dana way in last. Nick's back into the wall again. Alex cannot close the gap. This is the fourth lap. Getting ready for the final lap. Pat is cruising. This is bullshit. Dana. I knew Dana Dana. was so bad. Dana's so pissed. He's so mad. Nick and Dana are still fighting. They're way out of it. Alex has to make one last push, but I do not think it's going to happen. Pat getting ready for the final lap here. Way in the lead. He just has to go smooth. He should be fine. He's, he might even lap Dana and Nick at this point. Final lap for these racers. Pat in the clear. And it looks like easily, easily, Pat is going to be the first captain in Barstool vs. America season two. He comes around the final turn. A flawless race for Pat. He has won. Alex in second. Who cares about last? An absolute blowout for Pat as he is the captain of the blue team. Dana comes in last place after the guarantee. Tough luck. Tough luck. Fuck! Dana guaranteed a win. <laughs> <laughs> to me, it was a completely fair race. But if I was someone that made excuses, I would say, that's bullshit, and I didn't have a single chance in hell to win that. I knew I didn't have a huge chance of winning because the track is pretty narrow. So as soon as Jeff said go, I just turned right into Dana so somebody else would win. If you're not first, you're actually last. It didn't matter that I came in second at all. All that mattered was who came in first, and that was Pat. And I was very pissed about it. And contrary to popular belief, homosexuals can drive, and I'm actually living proof of that. I beat them by like 15 seconds. It was easy money. Pat, you were the captain of the blue team. We'll go over that later. For now, you can rest. Go check out the yellow team. Joey, KB, Kelly, and Marty. One of them will be the captain of the yellow team on this racetrack. Congratulations to Pat. Coming fast, moving like a locomotive. I'd advise you get up out my way. The time is mine and everybody has their time. So if you want it, well, it's not today. On tomorrow, next week, I think you best leave. There's only room for the king. In my zone, feel at home when I'm on the throne. I ain't worried about a thing. Joey, I don't want to bump into you, but I might bump into you by accident. Well, wait till I go. Well, I'm gonna, but you gotta move. <laughs> I'm gonna move. Okay. All right, yellow team. Blue team has their captain, it was Pat. He was in Marty's position, it was pretty good. They seem to doubt that anybody can beat Marty, not to put any pressure on Marty here. Here we go, Joey, Marty in the front, KB, Kelly in the back. I'm gonna count you down from three. When I say go and you see the green flag, the race begins. Get ready. Three, two, one, go. Early lead for Marty, but Kyle right on his tail. Shit, Joey, shit, Joey, I'm sorry. Oh, Kyle slows down big time, and Marty opens up to a huge lead. Flawless so far for Marty, but he slows down. Oh, and KB with a massive thrash. Oh, oh, God. God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Joey and Kelly are way out of it already. Marty not as flawless as Pat, though. He's opened it up a little bit that KB can maybe come back. Lap two now. KB is still in this. Can he figure it out? Not quite. Goes a little too wide around that first turn. Sorry, girl. Good yeah. job, Joe. Yeah, Great job. job. Yeah. Slow and steady. Marty comfortable in the lead right now. KB had his chance, but had a massive crash. <laughs> and he crashed into the same wall again. Oh, oh my God. He's <laughs> in the same exact spot. Oh, He's just God. slamming into it. Joey and Keegs are way out of this. This one's over for them. They might even get lapped. Sorry, Joey. I love you. I love you. I love you. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're in the way. You're in the way. 
Marty zipped through on the third lap. KB needs to fly if he wants to catch up. Marty pretty flawless. Dana said that that position would win. So far, he's correct. If Marty stays clean, he should be fine. KB this time goes a little slower to that turn, but he lost some space. Marty clipped the corner of KB Big Crash. We go into lap four. Marty opens up a huge lead. He might even pass Joey. Will Joey get in the way though? KB has spun out. It's basically over for him. Last lap for Marty. He has got this one in the bag. An absolute disaster for everybody else. KB spun out. He is way behind now. Marty lapped some people. Don't so crash into me! Wow, Joey got lapped. That's very funny. Oh, he's showboating at the end, and Marty has won the captainship of the yellow team with ease. We done? You're done. Cross the finish Did line. Did I win? You haven't crossed the finish line yet. Oh. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey! There we go. Team captain, thank you. Oh my God, what the fuck were we doing? And this cart, it was, it was wild. It was like he never drove anything ever. That head wrap was fucking a torture chamber. It was like, I felt like I was being suffocated and I was claustrophobic in it. And then Kelly Keats tried to, to uh, decapitate me. She kept slamming into me like an animal. I was leading right away. I tried not to look too much, but I saw KB was on my tail and then I heard a big crash. And I was like, all right, I think I'm good. I think I hit that wall pretty hard. And I think I felt like the, the traditional concussion symptoms. Marty, you will be the captain, which last time you were in this show, you were the captain the last team you were on. But early on, not the finale, Pat is the captain for the blue team. You're both gonna file out back onto your one bus. I will see you later today. Bring sunscreen, bring a bathing suit. I will see you on the beach. This is where it gets interesting. I am the captain now. I'm gonna have to make the decisions. It's gonna impact everyone around me and it's all gonna come back to me. Pat is a good person to have on your side. If Pat isn't on your side, I mean this, on camera, off camera, the worst dude in the entire world, living or dead. Being the first captain and the first challenge is a huge advantage. I can show my team that I have what I can do. We win the challenge, we celebrate, and I'll show them that I can lead this team. I'm comfortable with Marty being captain. I'm a little worried now for my own safety. I don't know what kind of twists and turns are coming our way, but I hope that, you know, Marty still has my back a little bit. I'm happy Marty's a captain for this first challenge, and I'm, I'm watching and learning and kind of feel it out before I feel comfortable enough to like be the captain. So that's why I'm gonna be subpar on all the challenges, just to lay low. In terms of morale, I'm good with it being Pat. In terms of snakiness, I don't know. Our team spirit right now is like through the fucking roof. Nick found the thousand dollars, gave it to the team. Now that's cohesion. You don't see that on the yellow team. None of them are admitting where the thousand dollars is. Marty, really? I can see it in your eyes. And Kelly Keys, you're not fucking getting past me either, bitch. I know exactly what you're doing. One of those two has it, and that's driving what I like to call a little wedge, y'all. Are we gonna talk about the fact that Marty has the envelope and is pretending he doesn't? I, why would we all agree that it would be a thousand? I would just tell him if I had. That's what I'm saying. I, I'd stop looking. Yeah, such Are you trying to make us look foolish? So day one, I found the note. Put it in my pocket, figure it out, gave it to the producers, say I'm keeping it, rip it up. Day two, challenge ends, I'm the captain. So they're all eating lunch, eating wet salami sandwiches, these wet cold cuts. I'm like, I don't need that. Too many colors on that. So I go to the, I go to the RV. I have the bus driver write my fake note. Hey Tom, can you do me a favor? Can you write something for me? Perfect. Tom wrote the note. I remembered pretty much everything that the thing said on the card. People say Marty's dumb, he acts dumb. How am I acting dumb when I'm coming up with smart shit right now? And I was going to hide it after. Then I started contemplating, should I just go in and say I found it? Should I hide it? And I saw the team coming, so I put it in my pocket and just didn't say anything. I can't find Ladies, this thing. What are you looking for? The fucking thousand dollars. <laughs> Everyone saw me like, all right, Marty might have it. He keeps asking questions. I get nervous. Bad liar. Find the note yet? Oh, We're still looking for this fucking note. I just want to look for it and find it and just get it over. Joey came on the bus and started writing on the note that I wrote my fake note on and things are falling apart. So now I gotta go fast. I gotta find my fake note before he finishes his fake note. So now there's two fake notes and I need to end this now. Holy shit. Are you serious? <laughs> Are you serious? Shut up.
I was like, you fucking believe, I, it's, this is it. He goes, holy shit, congrats, like slapping hands. Mastermind I am. What an absolute mastermind. That I'm keeping it. <laughs> Congratulations. Marty just randomly just told me that he found the thousand dollars. And when Marty is like winning in the strategic side of things, it's not a good sign for the rest of us. Okay, Marty had the note the whole time. He did? Obviously he had the note the whole time. Where was it hidden? Probably on a counter and he said he just missed it. No, we were by what me and Dean watched him get it. He was in a high noon box that was just miraculously in the freezer. Huh. And very interesting, Mr. Mush. Probably had a change of heart. He probably saw, oh look, they gave theirs. I don't want to be caught. Well he's, he's not giving ours. He's he took it all himself? Yes. <laughs> Marty took the whole thing himself? Yeah. Being the captain and already up $1,000, I'm in full control. And that, what I just did, was probably one of the smartest things I've ever done. And I don't think I could pull off anymore, so I just need to keep winning. Talk to me about the swimsuits for the beach challenge. Now, I will be wearing a Speedo. You'll be wearing a... That's, I'm gonna be wearing a zebra, but one piece of cut out. You're wearing a, what do you mean a cutout? Jeff Delo said, wear a swimsuit. And I brought one. Joey and I are gonna look outrageous on the beach. Like, he, we are gonna look so fucking hot. He's in a one piece, and I'm gonna speed out. Now I'm a little bit worried that I won't be able to fluff her up enough. So hopefully this will distract the boys. Now I got cakes. Okay, now she's cheeked up. So I, need, I wanna make sure that this will be a little distraction to the other team. Is and your, my top surgery Your cock is gonna be covered? Um. Oh, hell no! Whoa! <laughs> Wait, talk to I have glasses I'm gonna wear. Oh, that's better, yeah. There we go! <laughs> it's beautiful, honey. Can someone spray me down with lotion? In all the rat areas? Wait, we should go We should go spray starts down in our outfits outside. I am! I'm trying to decide if I should do the thing where you put your dick up to the side in the speedo. I'm going back. I don't know if you're Get my shoulders out I know, lift up your neck. Uh, pissing me off already. That's how a lady does it. I don't really know at this point what's coming next, but I feel good that Marty won. I feel bad that Pat won because I can see him screwing me over without any hesitation. I remember what happened last year. Dana and Marty were conspiring against me. You think they're gonna stop doing that shit? No, it's them against everyone. So get his ass off now, save me the headache later. Let's not pretend like we're gonna be taking care of each other here. Beers. Pat, sales. Pat right now thinks he's running this game and I don't like it. He does. I'm like, you were overconfident. Oh, that's how, he, that's how he does it. He always yeah. is too overconfident. I'm feeling kind of in the middle. I don't wanna be too overconfident going into the first challenge. We really don't know what is to come, but I can swim pretty well. So I'm kind of hoping for that. And I think I'll feel pretty confident if I see something along those lines. It seems like every time I get on the beach, I'm just the king of the beach and I get the dub. So I'm excited. I'm ready to get in the sun, get some fucking rays and dominate. That's all it's about right now is dominating. Teams, welcome to your first team challenge here in beautiful, like really nice, may quit the show and live here, uh, St. Petersburg, Florida, on a beach, uh, but it's a big one today for many reasons, mostly because it's the first challenge. We'll get to the captains in a second. I'm gonna explain the challenge as well, but uh, Joey, I would be doing a disservice to the world and all viewers if I didn't allow you uh, 30 seconds of your time to do whatever you wanna do. Well, you know, it's hot out here. I think it's going to be this blazing in the sun, so I, I bring a, an outfit change. Okay. Girls got to be ready for anything, so I'm just going to take my top off. Right now, let's give it up for Joey. Fantastic look. Excellent look. Hey. Thank you. <laughs> well, I mean, she still got it. Your girl still got it. That beat that beat every pissing from last year. Just there, that was that challenge. It's a good. It's to, a good. Uh, that's a, that's it's a, a pretty good. It's a good package. It's a good little package. Gag. Uh, let's talk about this challenge. All right, behind you today, Captain Pat of the blue team, Captain Marty of the yellow team. You two will be up in these large chairs. Your teammates will be blindfolded ah. outside of this pit. One by one, 
They will be directed to go into the pit one at a time. You will have a map. On the map will be three locations. At those locations, there will be keys. Attached to the keys will be high noon cans. They will be digging up those keys one by one. The first person who digs up a key, if they get that key, captains, you will tell them to leave the pit. Once they leave the pit, they take off their blindfold, they run into the water with their key, they unlatch the cooler, and they bring the cooler all the way to shore and drop it over here where the puzzle will be. They cannot open the cooler yet. Once all three coolers are on the mat, you can then open the cooler, and the captain, and only the captain, can come down, open up the coolers, and build the puzzle. When the puzzle's complete, oh. that team will win the challenge, and like last year, a very nice house. Very quaint, too. It's Captains, yeah, one, one do you want to keep the captainship? You can keep it, you can give it up. I know there's, I don't know, you, I don't know if you're a puzzle guy, you gotta, Nick's been to board game conventions, so I don't know. Don't it's up to you. Like that. <laughs> it's <gotta be> cool. <laughs> Once all three of those coolers are on that mat, the captains can begin the puzzle. If anyone from the team touches the puzzle other than the captain, you must remove all the pieces and start over again. That is the challenge. It's hot, drink some water, Get ready to go. This is going to be a fun one. Your first team challenge here in Florida. Was there a go lot of discuss. pussy at the uh, board game convention? Uh, have you ever been anywhere and known you were the most handsome by like five points? Yeah, that's question. Yeah. Start talking, everyone? There's no camera. Personally, I think you should be, be the, the captain. captain. I think it might. Unless you object. Okay. Actually, no, I think you are, you're the captain. Okay. Because I also you, think I mean, I'll that I'll be better at like I think going you're better at it. Honestly, yeah. Giving, I can't give instructions. Okay. I think you're, you'd be good at that. I okay. agree. Well, wait, what? And, wait, and the wait, puzzle. Wait, wait. You, I also you gotta make the... sure if I would even want to give it up real quick. Right, right. No, no, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm not, I'm not trying make... to get it. If no, you, you're not. It's I only know, if believe. you guys think, because to be honest, like, I, obviously we can drag these back. It's no big deal. It's not a big deal. But I do, I am, you know, strength is not my strength. I could, yeah, I think I could drag him back. Yeah. I, I can carry it back. You can carry some shit back. I think you'd be better. Right. Okay. Yeah, I think you should take right. this captain. Good. Do you want me to stay captain? Does one of you feel comfortable screaming things out, being loud? I don't. Full I'm pressure? good at puzzles. Okay, so why don't you do that? Are you sure? Yeah. Because I, I'm not, I mean, I could go out there and get that for sure. I'm 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 gonna haul ass like out there. Directionally, like we will give us directions, but for I sure. suck at all for that. Sure. You just gotta be loud. Well, we make up. Don't rush. Yeah, all right. Next captain. Yeah. All right. All right. Okay. We trust each other, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna win this. We're gonna yeah. get an Airbnb. Airbnb. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Airbnb. Okay. Fuck them on three. One, One two, three. three. Fuck them. Let's go, blue team. You good? You good, Dana? What? You feel good? I feel great. Okay. This is where I fucking no, you're thrive, fatty boy. That's right. Physical competitions. Nick. Yeah. Are you good? That's bad karma. Okay. You're right. You're right. All right, teams, your first team challenge. I will note two captain changes. That's a big deal. Nick, now captain of the blue team. Only Nick can do the puzzle. Yellow team, Kelly Keegs the captain. Only Kelly Keegs can do the puzzle. First team to finish wins. Get to stay out of the RV tonight before our next stop. Are you ready, teams? Yeah. yeah. So, yes. Contestants ready up when you hear the horn, you will begin. Good luck for reward, team challenge. Three, two, one. All right, right, right out of the right, gate right, is right, Joey. Right, Joey was the first choice. They actually waited to see who was gonna be the first on Team Blue. Alex already digging. I'm sorry, you're going to have to stop. I'm sorry, get up, get up, get up. The map was upside down. Walk that way. Map was upside down. They were looking at the map the wrong way. Nick realized it, which actually means Joey is looking at the wrong side as well. Keegs does not realize it. Maybe go a little bit, a little bit up, Joey. A little right bit up. Here? No, other way. Here? Yes. Digging very deep is Joey. Al is kind of sifting the sand right now. They're both right next to each other. Big Joey. Ah. Joey just bust a nut. Oh my god! I think Joey okay. just busted. It's right around there, Joey. It's right in that I spot. You gotta keep no stay in that circle. Don't move any further than that. This is a very grueling he challenge. Knows, Looks easy, but in the heat, in the, in the sand, bit, that is not yeah, the case. Here. It's not here. It is there. Joey is losing it right now. We are about, I would say, eight minutes in, no keys. They're not sure they're even I mean, close at this point. Balls out, Joey. Literally use your nails, break that shit up. Kelly, where? Joey, it's right there. It's, I swear to God, you just gotta dig deeper. Bitch, I'm halfway to China right now. It's not fucking down there. So it's looking, looking. She goes, no, you're not digging deep enough. He said five to six inches. I said, bitch, I know five to six inches, okay? And his name is Raul. 
KB now, Matt. Yellow team in shambles, but again, it's tied. It doesn't matter yet. Yeah. Alex is very deep, almost hitting water at this point. I don't know what to fucking do. It's, he's right in the spot. It's not here. It is Joey's there. saying it is just flat out not there. He is almost giving up at this point. Yeah. You, got, no. you can't give up, Joey. Don't give up. My nails are bleeding. Alex using her feet now. What a move. Jeff, don't tell them what she's doing. This is going to be a four hour episode of Bar School versus America season two. Joey, you're killing me right now. Get up. What are you doing? Oh, no. What is he doing? My hands are bleeding. I was basically digging my own grave. That's what it felt like. I, I, I did not think I was going to make it out alive. Joey has dug up half of the Excuse corner of the pit. Right He's now laying out flat on his stomach. Joey, don't lay in the sand. Get up and use your fucking fingers. I'm sorry for yelling at you. You're going the completely wrong way. Here? Yes. It's not here. Literally, it is there. It says it's there. It lied. It might be yeah, deeper Alex. than you think. It's not deeper. It just says it's not. Alex, Alex yes. has found yes, go, go, go. the blue oh. team key. The first team was found their key. First key uncovered by blue. Just as things were dire, the blindfold goes off. Alex Bennett into the water for the blue team. Blue team's doing much better. Joey's still digging. All right, Joey, the pressure is on right now. I'm sorry, but it is. Alex into the water to the first cooler. When the first cooler hits the mat, the next blue team member can go in. Joey kicking ferociously, looking for a key. Alex coming out of the water now with the cooler. Alex laboring. Cannot wait to get to the mat. She does. Blue, you can send your next player. Pat in to the pit. Straight, straight, straight. I know you're not used to that word. Straight, straight, straight. Lair. Straight. Keep going straight. Ah! I know, I know. Right there, right there. Straight, straight, straight. Drop and dig. Fuck. Joey, Joey. All right. Joey, no, no, no. Joey, get up, get up, get up, get up. What the hell happened with the map? That's a great question. Kelly had the fucking map turned around the wrong fucking way the entire time. I didn't even look at the map. All I did was look at it, look for number one, and I directed Joey to number one. Once I looked at the map as a whole, it was really fucking obvious what I needed to Go do. Keeks has just realized they were reading the map wrong the entire time. Yes, Pat, come back to me, baby. Is Follow it Yes. Come back, come back, come back, come back. Yes, it? Walk straight. Pat has the key for the blue team. Second person has their key into the water for Pat. Blew out the monstrous lead, Dana, the last one to go once that cooler hits the mat. Joey's still searching. Yellow team read the map wrong, it seems. Joey going to another part of the pit now. Oh, God. Come on. Baywatch-esque, out of the water with his cooler. Not there yet, not there yet, not there yet. And go. Pat put the other one on the mat. Dana, last one in. Once Dana finds the key, Nick will be on standby to build the puzzle. I mean, it's over, so we can chill. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Blue's lead is huge. KB and Marty have not even moved. At this point, is it even possible? A large blowout potentially in this first challenge if Dana can find the key. Looking for redemption on this show after last season. Fuck. Dana out of breath, he is tired now. He dug very hard, very deep, very fast. Oh my God, please God, fucking find it. I cannot express how mortified I am. Literally screaming at him, like, dig harder. What are you doing? It's gotta be there. He's in like a fucking singlet, looking crazy. His whole dick and balls and asshole are out. Yellow needs a miracle at this point to have any chance in this game. Right, exactly where you're sitting. You're sitting on top of it. You have to be. I got it. Joey oh found the first key for yes. Yellow. Yes. Yellow maybe not out of this yet. Dana is laboring. He's gotta go into the water. He took off the blindfold. In goes Joey. Come on, Dana. Dig, baby. Dig, buddy. Dana's struggling. Don't go deeper. There's go still deeper. a puzzle to be built. Joey approaching his first cooler. Holy shit, this is hard. Keep going. Don't stop digging, please. When I tell you I thought I was going to be in and out in maybe a minute, that's truly what I thought. And that's not what happens. The cushion for blue is shrinking, grueling. Leg for Joey was at the wrong side of the pit for the first half of the challenge. Dana, it's okay to get tired. It's yeah, Dana, okay take a break. Tired, Dana. Take a break, Dana. Come on, Beast. How quickly can KB find this key for yellow? Joey, come on, Joey. Joey, once it goes on the mat, you can send KB Kelly. Second key is gonna start now for yellow. KB searching for it. KB somehow avoided that massive hole. Impressive work while blindfolded. Yeah, behind the can, behind the can. Right there. KB, look at that. More to your left, more to your left. The fastest 
digger I've ever seen there. Very wide. Can he tie it up? Would be one of the all-time comebacks. I'm trying, boys. He kept saying, you're on it. You're on it. Just go deeper. Dig deeper. So I kept digging fucking deeper. And guess what? There's nothing. KB feels good. He could pull off a huge miracle here. Go, 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 go. KB has the second key. KB shoves. Shoves the yeah. That's where he's allowed to do that. KB with the key into the water, blindfold off. A miracle for Yellow to even be in this after having the map upside down. There goes KB, fastest into the water. Dana, deeper in different spots right now. The lead is closing. Come on, KB! Yes! Woo! Let's go! Let's fucking go! A huge comeback for Yellow, and we are tied up at two apiece as Marty enters the pit. Once I heard Marty got in, I'm like, okay, maybe I'm blowing this a little bit. Yellow seemed as dead as can be. A huge blowout. And we are tied. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep going, keep going, stop. Turn to your right and dig right there. Nick, Nick and Pat joking, is, is Dana throwing the challenge? They cannot believe he hasn't found it yet. Where the fuck is the can? Go fucking crazy, Marty. Go crazy with the, with the sands. Panic has set in for each team. Dude, I need some fucking water. Sorry, Dana, we're working you to the bone. This is fucking absurd. Dana refuels with some water. He's been out there for a while now. He's dug up a ton. Guys, I, I don't know what to do. I feel like I was this close to being an accessory to manslaughter because he was dying, puking. He's like, his skin was purple. He couldn't talk. He was just burping. Dude, how much have I fucking dug, Nick? I know how exhausted this, I know how exhausted you are, man. I'm, I'm you're Dude. doing a very good job. This is on me. Dana and Marty, the two roommates, head to head, throwing sand at each other now. He threw up and almost died. He sucked. Couldn't find him. He was a fat bastard. I can't fucking breathe. Dana's struggling. Does he need water? You need water, Dana. He needs water. Get him water. Does anyone have any fucking idea? Medic running in to help Dana, who is just absolutely exhausted from the heat. The challenge has gotten tough. He's covered so much ground. He's giving him life! He's, the medic. He's up from the dead! It's giving him life! I didn't ask for the medic. I asked for water. The next thing I know, there's this towel on my head, and that made me want to, ooh, ooh, I'm getting a little pep in my step. That kind of tickled my balls. Marty has the wet rag now. Dana has water. Marty's found the yellow key. Marty trying to exit. There's still a puzzle to be built. Marty is out of the pit. An insane comeback by Yellow. They have the lead. Marty doesn't even look like Marty anymore. Yellow had zero keys when Dana entered the pit. And now Marty has the third cooler being untied as they put it on the mat. And once they do, Kelly can start the puzzle. Yeah, remember, Nick's good at puzzles. Can't be reminding the blue team. They are not in the clear. Nick is great at puzzles. Dana still digging for this the key. Is not safe. No. Here comes Marty. Once it hits the yellow side of the mat, Kelly can dismount and come down. Go. Got it. Here comes Kelly trying to win it for the yellow team. I'm sorry, man. Keep moving, Dana. It's not over. It's Keep not moving. over at all. Once I heard Keegs was at the puzzle, I wanted to give up. I just wanted to say, there's no chance we're winning this. I don't know where this fucking thing is. Kelly's going to begin the puzzle. She's opening up. The different coolers. I, I'm, I'm, you're right on top of the number. You dug where the number is. Oh, Kelly getting her first pieces on. I know you're exhausted. We're going to find this thing. Kelly not making a ton of progress. Blue nowhere near out of this, the way this puzzle's getting built. Dana doing his best to stay alive here for Blue. Kelly making progress, but a ways to go. That's where he's dug. It's, it's right in front of the two pans. Dana trying his best to not give up. He's tried everything. Dana's got the key. It's not over yet for Blue. Could be a second comeback when Nick comes down here. Nick, once that cooler hits the mat, you're on your way down. Yes, sir. Fuck, it's so sticky. And I keep hearing Jeff say, it's not over, it's not over. And I'm like, all right, it's not over. Okay, I'll decide if it's not fucking over. And I turn the Jets on. Here comes Dana, look at Dana, where did he find the energy? Oh, the energy. Look at this fucking beast Come right now. The mat, buddy. Dana to the mat. Nick, right when it hits the mat, you're down. You are not out of this yet, Blue. Let's go, Here down. comes Nick. Nick down the ladder. The puzzle extraordinaire. Trying to catch up pieces off the board now for Kelly. Nick has a real chance at this. Could there be a second comeback in this game? 
Kelly's still taking her time trying to figure out where everything goes. In my head, I thought we were leagues ahead. I was like, we have no problem here. I can solve a puzzle. I'm not a moron. Like, I'm, I'm good with puzzles. I'm good with time. Like, it's not a big deal. Kelly doing well, but Nick has really closed the gap. Pieces have to be cleanly on the board. Can't be over the edges. They all must be cleanly on the board. Jeff D, they won't fucking stay on. That's the tree, Nick. That's the tree. Nick, that was the tree on the left. Nick Line getting much three. closer. The gap is razor thin. Is it clean enough? Kelly's still going. Yeah. Told not, not good enough. Not anywhere near clean enough. That puzzle's got to be pretty damn clean. We had to line it up perfectly because it was lined up perfectly. It was a really perfect puzzle that needed to be completed, you know, end to end. Can Nick? Have a massive comeback after a massive collapse for the blue team. Fuck. Fuck. How close are they? They're basically on one piece fit. each. Okay, okay. Got it, got it. The sand is holding it. The sand is holding it. They got it. It's a big gap right there by the word Florida. Nick has time. Here, move there you go, there you go. Nick trying to fix it. Right one in underneath so it like kind of props it in. Yeah, we're good. Good. They want to check here. They're going to fix there. They're going to check blue now. It's not clean yet. Blue team wins the challenge. Another big comeback is in the game. Nick Zobelder wins it for the blue team. Yellow's huge comeback is for nothing. Dana, Pat, Alex, and Nick have won the first team challenge. Dana, Dana Beers. Dana Beers. Fuck that thing. That's everybody. I hate it. Dana Beers. Wow. Bullshit. Wow. Wow. Holy moly. That was electric. I don't even know what to say. Can we talk really quick about the absolute meltdown of Kelly Keyes? I mean, what a disaster she was. She's too weak to do the challenge physically, so they stick her on the lifeguard chair. She's too dumb to turn the map the right way. Then she gets to the puzzle, she can't even do that right. This is something that that I should have directed us into a win. This is something that is right in my wheelhouse. If I have the opportunity to be the captain again, uh, my confidence is absolutely wavering. It's very much in my head, and I don't know like how I'm gonna feel going forward. Like I, I, I'm worried it's gonna cripple my game. I really am. I'm not blaming Kelly. You couldn't have written this. Nick? We knew Nick did puzzles, but Nick, like, Nick can do a puzzle. Nick went, he went, Sick old mode on that thing. I showed some real emotion there, and I'm not a competitive guy, but there's something about a puzzle, baby. That right there is why we did what we did with changing captains. And we are staying at a beautifully air conditioned Airbnb tonight. All right, blue team, congratulations. You blew a huge lead. Dana, I was surprised you even finished the challenge. That's not even like a burn. You just. You weren't even in your own body at that point. I almost, I almost puked. <laughs> you almost puked. I might. Dude, you almost you right died. Here. You almost died. Yeah, I, I, puke is like a light version of what almost happened. Uh, Nick, you are the captain. You guys win. You guys get a nice stay tonight off of the RV. Like I said, very quaint. Uh, other side, Kelly, thoughts. Tough puzzle. I mean, you. You guys stayed strong, map was upside down, huge comebacks. So I know you're disappointed, but also at one point it looked like there wasn't even a point of continuing going on. Yeah, I honestly, I thought we were gonna have to stop when Dana was dead, and I was like, that's that's cool by me because I don't know about this puzzle. I died first. You died you first. Did. You my died idea. first, but you know what, Joey? It was entirely my fault. Like, I blamed this, this entire thing on me. I was handed the map, told to open it a certain way. Dana is puking, even... by the way. Oh, shit. Sorry, Dana. No, continue. Right. I looked at it a certain way. Yeah. Dana, you all right? Or... Yeah. Obviously not. Why don't you sit down? <laughs> he's, he's not all right. Oh, yep. Can't get him out. Oh, can we move? Oh, <coughs> could have walked off a bit. I'm gonna. <coughs> hey, do you want to? Do you want to do without him? <coughs> okay. Dana, you good? Better. <laughs> that was that was a lot I of. Knew puke. Was, I knew it was coming. I tried to hold it in the whole you, time. You well, you tried to commentate on the the digging earlier, and you didn't even have words and no, figured puke was coming um, up. Just going back to that challenge, I'm proud of my teammates. Um, I saw when they were still doing the puzzle that we had a chance, so shout out to the blue squad. Joey, you were laboring as well. You were in there for a while. Looking in the wrong area. Uh, thoughts? What's the morale right now on yellow team? I mean, 
I'm just happy. I'm happy to finish. I thought for a second that I was they were gonna go through the whole puzzle and I'd still be there digging. I never thought yeah. it was the end of it. No, credit to you, the yellow team with a massive comeback. Uh, let's talk about the end of the season really quickly. The winning captain in the finale will have a decision to make. They will either kick someone off their team and split the money amongst three people only, so more than ten thousand dollars each, or they can take somebody from the other side, which you all have friends on the other side, and split up less money amongst a total of five people. Just keep that in mind, it's different than the last time around. Nick, this is the time, last year we do the swap. This year, Kelly, you're good. Nick, the other six people, one of them will be eliminated from the game right now. You have that decision to make. They're out of the game, completely out of the game. For good? Go home? They are not on the bus, they are out of the game. This twist really was like jaw dropping. I didn't see this coming at all. This year, Every challenge matters, it seems, because right, someone's getting eliminated. This is so much more evil than I thought. Nick, you have to make that decision. It is yours to make. You cannot eliminate Kelly. She was the captain Holy of the yellow shit. team and is safe from elimination. It was the only moment of reprieve that I had where I was like, OK, I'm glad we didn't win because I don't want to be the first person to fuck somebody over. One of you just goes home and Nick has to pick who that is. That sucks. If you want to do your own mini little counsel here and, and pitch. Well, I mean, I like everybody almost equally. So I don't know. I feel like I could be swayed for people that want to stay. Or for I would really like to stay, Nick. I'd like to stay, Nick, as well. Kyle? Uh, I didn't blow it for my team. I'd like to stay. Wait, can I pick some of them? Yeah. You could eliminate your but own yo, team. It would be funny I if I sent him Let Nick pick. This is Nick's decision, guys. <laughs> guys, I need Nick to make the decision, nobody else. <laughs> oh <laughs> you did Nick gosh. dirty with this one. <laughs> He's in a tough spot. We sent someone home, maybe from your own team. I was just thinking in my head, don't send me home after all that. Uh, Dana, I'm not going to eliminate you. It would be hilarious. That would, that would break my heart. <laughs> yeah, it would. Uh, now, you're, now you're convincing me to do it. <laughs> Please don't. OK. Nick, you just have to eliminate somebody from this game right now. That's all I can tell you. Again, you had your testimonials, but you do need to send someone packing off the RV. Uh, yeah, Kyle. You're eliminating Kyle? Yeah. Kyle, your friend, <laughs> KB, you have been eliminated from the game. You can file on out, pack up, you're off the bus. Joey, Joey, please stay in line, please stay in line. What is wrong with you? <laughs> I sent Kyle home. Nick, of all people, had to send somebody home. I knew I was leaving. I think it's crazy to kick out your only alliance, really, in the game. But hey, it wasn't me, so I don't care. KB is out. Uh, this was great. Tampa, St. Yeah. Pete. Uh, everyone have a good time in Florida? I had a great time. I don't really want to leave. I'd like to go to house parties and yachts still. But we have to go to Nashville. So KB's going to pack up and move out. <laughs> Seven of you left. Four on three going to Nashville. Let's head out. We'll see you in Tennessee. All right, everyone, file out. Wait, 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 wait. All right, bring him in. Bring him in. Yellow team, you are down a member. You're about to get a fourth member of your team wearing Balls Beachwear head to toe, returning from last season, a winner last season, Glenny Balls into the game, now on the yellow team. Glenny fucking Balls with a tan, a case of high noon, and a rolly suitcase on the sand Rapes in his ass into the game. First of all, Ballsy took his time. I mean, put a little pep in the step, Ballsy. Yeah. Fucking Let's balls. Go, ballsy! Take your time, Balls. Woo! Take your time, buddy. Woo! Welcome, Glenn. Joe, Mr. you look hot, bro. Glenny Balls, step on in. You look hot, Joe. Case of nooners? He's got a case of okay. nooners. He's dragging the bag across. I brought some nooners for the party if you want them, Jeff. Glenny, meet your new team. These Marty, guys? Joey, team. Kelly Keats. Like You're on guys. Team Yellow. You replace KB. Nick, Pat, Dana, Alex, you are staying in the Airbnb tonight. All right, now I will say what I said before. The next stop on this trip is, hey, Glenn, you're going to Nashville for a couple Nashville days. Nashville we're going to? Nashville for a couple I've days. I've heard that's Glennie. fun. Glennie, wow, what, what incredible timing for Glennie. I've Glennie. heard that's fun. Leaving Florida for Nashville. Yellow team, Glennie, Joey, Marty, Kelly, blue team, Nick, Pat, Dana, Alex, file on out. We will see you in Tennessee. If I could sum up my experience on this trip in one word, uh, short, brief. Kyle, 
Bye bye. <laughs> Minute or minute, if it only lasted like a minute. Kyle flew out here. Kyle got me this job at Barstool. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> Can I go? Plenty new travel for a sunburn? Yeah. I like to get a convertible, drive from Delaware to Tampa to be here. Wore a fucking tank top on the whole way, top down, and this is what happens on the shoulder. Glenny Balls is now my new opponent. Unless our next challenge is hamburger reviews, I'm feeling all right. I'm excited to, to run it back. Very first. happy to see you. Very happy to see you. I love my team, actually. I think theoretically, if I were to pick my exact team, it would be this team. Granted, may not be the best of physical challenges, but I'm excited to hang with the crew. Our morale is through the roof. It's never been higher. I think, yeah, I think Dana said he loved me. I didn't say it back. And he meant it too. Me, Nick, and Alex could be a new good alliance. I still will not trust Pat no matter what. There's no chance. If me and Dana are gonna form an alliance, we need trust. I just can't fucking trust him. I am quite literally only worried about one person sending me home and it's Pat. There's gonna be hard feelings, but at the end of the day, if I'm lacking and I'm not doing the right thing, I wouldn't want someone to you know to keep me just because I'm funny. Actually, I would. It's kind of bullshit how Kelly, there's no negative repercussions for her. She fucked up the entire thing. <laughs> I know, but they're gonna they're gonna hold that against her. Right now, I'm the I'm not an asset at all. I wouldn't be shocked if they booted me next time. Like, <laughs> that's how you get the dub. You don't quit. I almost quit. I should have quit, because I'm never going to recover. But that's how you get the dub. The winners have arrived at uh, the house. We're ready to enjoy our time here. I'm home. We are here. Oh, oh this is so much nicer than our day. So oh. much. It's roomy, it's air conditioned, should, and that's really all I need. This should not be leaving. This is sick. We should throw a dinger. It was a, a thrilling victory for the blue team. It was electric. Like, holy shit, it was the coolest moment ever. It was so exciting. I was just over the moon. We're going to try and win every time. We're going to kick someone off the losing team off every time. So let's do a congratulations. Wait, not a congratulations. You know what worked I for am the prize. No, no, no. What worked for us last time? Oh, what was it? Fuck them on three. Yes. Fuck them on three. One, One two, two, three. Fuck them. I think I've been playing too much of a good guy right now. And I'm in the mood for fuckery. I'm in the mood for Nashville fuckery. <laughs> <laughs> Next time on Barstool versus America, the teams hit the road to Nashville. I'm actually thrilled that Glennie is part of our road trip. I don't trust Pat. I will kick him the fuck out as soon as I can. Tension spill onto the battlefield. Fucking snake. And the game gets slippery in the Music City. Not the most athletic bunch. I think Glenny thought he was in a kiddie pool. I, I think he was in there for 20 minutes at one point. He just didn't get out. <laughs>